everybody, I'm Natalia Bonner. It's day 106. Today we're going to be stitching with my 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler. Now I get this question all the time. How can you always recommend this stable tape but you don't always use it in your videos? Well, I do a lot of machine quilting and I actually really highly recommend it. Sometimes I do use it on some of my quilts, but a lot of times when I'm moving my ruler really quickly, because I am a fast quilter, I know I'm crazy, but I'm a pretty fast quilter and sometimes I do feel personally like it gets in my way. But if you're starting out and you're struggling with slippage at all, especially on a domestic machine, I do highly recommend something like the Westerly Stable Tape or some type of grip material on the back of your machine quilting rulers. It's easily sticks on, easily pulls off. We've got it available for purchase over on our website, peaceandquilt.com. In the meantime though, let's get stitching. I'll begin by using my white Mark Beyond Marker, finding the top center of my block and marking there. Then I'll begin stitching in the bottom left corner. From the bottom left corner, I'm going to use the largest curve on my 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler and stitch point to point. So I'll stitch from the corner up to that top marked point, from that top marked point down to the opposite bottom edge. From that point, I'm going to travel up along the ditch and so until the side of my foot is a quarter of an inch away from my previous stitch line. Once I reach that point, I'm going to stitch a second echo line, traveling up to the top of the block, and then going back across to the opposite side of the block. From there, I'll repeat that same thing on the opposite side of the block. Now I'm going to add one more echo stitch around that top side of the block, but this time I'm going to move up and line up the second marked line on my machine quilting ruler. From there, now we're going to travel back down to the bottom of the block and stitch a fun crosshatch through the bottom center portion, the open portion of the block. So you'll see here that I line up my machine quilting ruler so that it intersects two inches up. You can leave a little mark there, two inches up from the bottom of the block along that curved line. Stitch to that point, then I'll travel back down to the bottom side of the block and repeat that process on the opposite side. From there, I'll stitch in the ditch around the outside of the block to complete the design. I hope you enjoyed today's block and found a little bit of inspiration with my machine quilting. Now just remember, you can pick up the panel, the rulers, the thread, all of the notions that I'm using in this video today over on my website, peaceandquilt.com. And don't forget to share your progress pictures over on Instagram using the hashtag Let's Stitch with Natalia. That's where we will be selecting winners for weekly prizes. See you all tomorrow. Thank you.